there was a question and the question was very funny but sometimes it must be a very serious issue too and the question is why in india everybody is touching the feet of the elders <laughs> oh that time it reminded me i always used to practice sometimes very very hard and i always get a muscle pull on my thigh and first time when i got this muscle pull muscle muscle light muscle tear means you can't walk another two weeks to two months you cannot practice you have to give them rest for it here two weeks to two months is such a long time it's very dangerous but because you are in a professional field you have to take morning till evening around 13 to 14 classes <laughs> it's no it's very difficult so when i when when i went to the hospital the the physiotherapist i don't know the or orthopedist he said okay keep your legs together raise your hands up and try to bend without bending your knees try to touch your feet i couldn't touch first of all it is torn i got a good flexibility but i i i could touch uh, with a little bend on my knees and he said yes your flexibility is bad hence you got the pull for a second i thought huh i am a professional in this field <laughs> this stupid doctor is trying to tell me if i cannot touch my flexibility is bad hence i got a uh, muscle tear <laughs> Mm. that reminded me when i was in london practicing the magdalen street toke martial arts center there was a judo coach who was 60 years old and one day he saw me limping he said what happened i was i was doing a lot of back training and we have to run on the kicking day we have to run 4 miles and that 4 miles we had to finish in 45 minutes I got a sprain on my leg and he said in my 60 years I'm now 60 years old not a single day I got a sprain the reason is before I do any training any exercise I stretch for one full hour and after the class also I stretch for one full hour and he said I never ever got a sprain if at all I get a sprain I rush up to the tap open the tap water and make the water run into that particular part till the last drop of pain goes wow <laughs> it helped me a lot touching the feet he said when you cannot do your flexibility you can touch your toes then your flexibility is very bad coming back to our india shastanga namaskara you can see the westerners stretching the hand and doing a handshake others may be touching the catching the face and kissing on the forehead but that was not our indian tradition the indian tradition taught the whole world the philosophy the spirituality and you can see every time an indian they only touch the feet why they are touching the feet the moment they touch the feet an explosion happens it breaks every barrier so suddenly you become a nobody because suddenly you surrender and the person whom you touch he also melts with you you and that person melt together to become a powerful organ when you touch your mother's feet mother becomes the positive you become the negative positive and negative creates electricity trying to teach the child that uh, never disconnect even for a second you see your father or mother or elder brother or a guru on the street also you rush up to touch the feet or nowadays children are touching on the knee or on the thigh at least the bow to touch to tell them i want your foundation i have never left the foundation the foundation is very very important how much of a biggest degree you have it if you have your foundation nobody can shake you you and connecting to the family's foundation the roots are deep down and the tree stands tall that is called the joint family which connecting you to the family tree it's so powerful hence 
our samskriti practicing is very important practicing the culture culture is touching the feet means touching the foundation it may look simple yes the biggest martial artist a fifth dan black belt eighth dan black belt rushing up to the ikeburo ikebukuro in japan ikebukuro dojo what you know because the head of that organization the great grandmaster what class he takes only the basic class just to connect to the grandmaster they all rushing not big techniques as long as you have the basics with you continuously practicing you can see from the base the juice keeps coming out like the cooking you do 45 minutes of slow cooking every water comes out of the plant or the meat and it's in the slow fire when it continues the salt comes out from the plant from the vegetables as well as from the meat and then the oil there is oil in every vegetable vegetable oil comes out and it cooks up its own you don't have to add another oil and from the meat you can see from the bone the oil comes out and cooks that the original taste that's why they're touching the feet to make sure the foundation slowly boils and the taste is beautiful touching the feet that's why the shastanga namaskara just touching the feet now what they do full flat they go to the mother earth full flat and then they hold on to your feet to tell this foundation i will never give not that they're telling i'm totally surrendering yeah because when you touch the floor and you touch the feet you for a second you become a nobody in that emptiness of that vessel you go anywhere anybody post anything fresh you will always be conscious anybody any teacher any university you go you they give any kind of lecture you have and this cup cup is empty it gets in every cell of your brain and whenever you get any question just answer flows of its own it strikes without thinking hence they say it's an explosion you explode to become a nobody and then the world calls you as somebody in been between the somebody and nobody you have ananda permanent please absent